more you can cultivate that sense of wealth, that sense of abundance in you, the more you can feel that sense of joy, the more easy it's going to be for you to do financially because you're not going to be in this scarce, fearful mode. Now, that's not enough by itself. You can have this great sense of abundance and do the wrong mechanics and be a disaster, true or false. But if I had a, they have an area to get you started with, you want to have the emotion and psychological strength because that's going to carry you through when the mechanics are boring or frustrating or when things aren't working out. Your emotion, your psychology is what will carry you. It will get you to keep doing it. Everyone knows, if you've done any studies, Dr. Seligman is very famous for doing studies on optimism. And in those studies, you know what he found out? People that are pessimists are much more realistic. They're much more accurate. If you give them a test and you ask them to look at something and give you a size measurement of it or to evaluate their own success or failure in a task, and every study Seligman's done, he did it in the University of, I think, Pennsylvania, if I remember correctly, originally, what he found was that optimists always see themselves as doing better than they really did. They basically BS themselves. What happens to pessimists, they're 10 times more accurate. But here's what he found out. What he found out is because the people who are accurate never push themselves because they know it's never going to work anyway, whereas the optimist sees it better than it is, so they keep doing it. Because they have the illusion they did well, well, I'll do even better next time. And because of that optimism, they did it more often, and so optimists succeed at a four to five fold, depending upon the task, result ultimately beyond anything that a pessimist will do, and they're not as accurate. All that's a big way of saying is, if you can develop a psychology of resilience in yourself, you don't have to be optimistic or fake, you can be real. The realness is, whatever shows up, you are larger than anything that can happen to you. You are larger than any financial challenge you could ever face.